Good evening and salam ibu per tiwiku. This is the state news on TV Sarawak. Sarawak Chief Minister Datuk Paniga Bang Zohari Tunabang Haji Openg has approved an allocation of 500,000 ringgit to help women entrepreneurs start or expand their businesses and further boost their economy. Furthermore, at the request of many women, at last year's State Women's Day celebration, the amount was increased to 1 million ringgit and doubled to 2 million this year. He said this during his speech at the Sarawak State Level 2019 Women's Day celebration at Borneo Convention Center Kuching today. Meanwhile, he added women also have their own role in upholding the social culture in the state. He said Sarawak was a model of unity and an example of solidarity despite its people of various races and religions. Therefore, he said if this element of unity is maintained, he believes that Sarawak would have a bright future. The fertigation smart farming system will be introduced and promoted to more areas statewide next year. Deputy Chief Minister Dato Amar Douglas Uga Ambas said it was the government's hope that more people would accept and embrace it to help increase the state's food production. Launching the Capit AgroFast 2019 in Capit, he said a sum of 2 million ringgit had been approved to introduce the system there soon. Uga said he was confident when more farmers and agropreneurs here took it up so he could help to produce more vegetables and fruit for local consumption and outside sale. Always sensitive to current needs in the education sector, the Sorok government will not leave behind underprivileged students from having access to quality education. Minister in the Chief Minister's Department, Integrity and Ombudsman, Dato Talib Zopilip, said the Sorok Foundation, through its social and corporate responsibility program, was actively contributing to the school uniform assistance program. Implementing the program can reduce the burden on parents. However, with the help they receive, students need to be more motivated and to learn and improve their knowledge. According to Dato Talib, the various forms of assistance provided by the Sarawak government to the people today are to safeguard their welfare and well-being. Well, that's all the news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Randi Ahmad for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.